Grade 4 math number 34. What are remainders in division? A remainder is an amount left over after we have divided a number that is not a multiple of the divisor. Hmm. Okay, this is the divisor. Remember? And the 17 is the dividend. Okay, it's the number being divided. Well, if it's not a multiple of the divisor, then it's going to have a remainder. 17 divided by 5 is 3 remainder 2, and this is why. 5 goes into the 17 three times, because 5 times 3 is 15. We do our subtraction, and there's a 2 left over. Can 5 fit into 2? No. We can't fit another 5 in this 2, so the 2 is the remainder. How many fives fit into a 17? Three of them with a remainder of two left over. See how that's done? So let's take a look at what Emma's got today. Emma has a bag of 23 jelly beans. She wants to share them with two friends and herself. Can she divide the 23 jelly beans between the three of them equally? So here's Emma and her two friends, Lisa and Tim. She gives each of them seven, six, and one more is seven. So they all equally have seven, but she has two left over. And it wouldn't be fair to give one friend more than the other. So how many are left over? The two, and the two is our remainder, okay? So 23 divided by three equals seven remainder two. This is how you would do it in the long division method. This is a sentence equation, and this is the long division method. 3 fits into 23 how many times? Well, 3 times 7 is 21, and that's as close as we're going to get. We put our 21 down here, we do our subtraction, and we get 2 left over. 3 take away 1 is 2. Can 3 fit into 2? No. Then 2 is the remainder. So we have an answer of 7, remainder 2. Okay, let's try another one. We have 11 that we want to divide into 3. How many 3's fit into 11? 3 times 3 equals 9. 3 times 4 equals 12. Well, we can't go over. So the closest we can get is 9. So we've got a 3. But how many are left over from the 9 to the 11? 9, 10, 11. There's two more, so we have a remainder of two. See? Let's try this one. 26 divided by 5. How close can we get to the 26 with multiples of 5? Do you remember that 5 times 5 is 25? That's pretty close, isn't it? It's just a, one away. So we know that 5 can fit in there, how many is between 25 and 26? Just one, and we can't fit another five in there. So we have five remainder one. Okay, so let's do it long division method. We've got 46 divided by nine. How many nines can fit in that 46? What's nine times four? That's 36. What's nine times five? Nine times five is 45. So we put the five above the 6 here, because we're not fitting 9 into 4. If we were, we would put the answer above the 4, but it won't fit in 4. So it fits in the 46, so we put the answer above the 6 to show we're doing the entire 46. We do the 9 times 5 right here, you know. We multiply them, and we get 45. Okay? Now, we say we have to subtract. We say how much is left over. 6 take away 5 is 1. 4 take away 4 is 0. So now we have a 1. Can 9 fit into 1? No. So our remainder is 1. Isn't that easy? Let's try this one. 20 divided by 7. How many 7s can fit into the 20? Not the 2. We're not fitting 7 into 2, we're fitting 7 into the entire 20, okay? 
Well, 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 3 is 21. But we can't go over. You're not allowed to go over. You can only go under and have remainders. So 21 is too big, so we can't do that one. So we're going to have to do 7 times 2. Now because we're doing the entire 20, the 2 goes up here, doesn't it? Because we're not putting 7 into 2, we're putting 7 into 20. So the 2 goes over the 0 of the 20 to show that. We do our 7 times 2, which is 14. And we do our subtraction. 20 minus 14 is 6. Can a 7 fit in this 6? No, it can't. It needs one more. So we have 2 remainder 6. See? It helps to do multiplication on the side. That'll help you do a long division every time. Even really, really big numbers that have like 8 numbers coming across this way, if you do multiplication on the side, it'll help you. All right? So that's what a remainder is. They're leftovers. They won't fit to be an, a divisor into the divisor as a multiple. They're just not quite big enough, so they're leftover remainders. We're going to keep talking about division, and I'll see you next video. Bye.